Representative Boback. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, Madam Secretary. Thank you for being with us today. My question is regarding the Centers for Independent Living. You know, these are very important centers, and we all know that they have four major components, and I'd like to mention them. The information and referral, independent living and skills training, peer mentoring, and advocacy. And ultimately, they serve individuals who have all types of disabilities. So here's my concern. The CILs have been level funded this year after having been cut 15% over the past several years, and yet they are expected to serve a growing number of disabled people. Can you comment what are we doing? And I do realize there's a federal caveat in there somewhere. And with all that being said, will the Commonwealth still be able to be in compliance with the Independent Living Services Act with this particular funding proposal? Yes, they should be, to answer your last question. Um, I think that, that without question, they serve a very important function. Uh, they do excellent work. I think level funding, given our state circumstances, is appropriate in this instance. I will tell you, last year we had this discussion and there has been generally a 4% administrative fee that's been placed on that. We've done what is actual cost of administration. And with the vast majority of them, if not all of them, they have come in at 2%. And we've returned the additional 2% to them. So we only charge exactly what are the administrative cost, and that has been below the 4%. So that's a little bit more funding that they will receive if those administrative costs are kept low and down. Um, the difficulty with the federal funding is these are funded with, through GGO funds, state funds. The reason the administrative costs became important is because labor and industry had been um, not charging those. That meant on another end, a four to one and a nine to one federal match was not being made with those dollars. So we were actually serving fewer individuals by not uh, instilling that kind of uh, administrative cost on the sales. We actually receive, in some instances, four to one, in other nine to one, when we moved and had it properly allocated, but we're very judicious with it. And we keep uh, records of actually what it cost and return what isn't spent back to the sales. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.